Not a bad day to head to the theaters and catch a film, but perfect day. Things will be changing. Yes, we have some warmer weather heading our way, and it is the first uh, full week of May. Uh, we showed you that uh, the month of April was a little below average as far as overnight lows and a little bit above average as far as daytime highs. We've got some wind today with that onshore flow, the coastal eddy that spun up and we're seeing those winds kick up especially over the mountains and down into the deserts. Uh, pretty gusty along the coastline, but nowhere near 49 miles per hour at uh, Mount Laguna. They also saw 48 miles per hour at Boulevard, 40 miles per hour out in the desert, Borrego Springs, 35 miles per hour. So definitely some windy conditions out there. And with the cloud cover, it was cool along the coastline and into the western half of the inland microclimates. Once you got towards the east, we started to see some sunshine pop out and warm things up. For instance, Escondido up to 77, but you head west to Carlsbad, it was only 67 degrees and up in the mountains. We were in the mid 60s from Palomar Mountain down into Julian and Mount Laguna at 64 in Borrego Springs at 94 degrees, so pretty toasty out there. Here's what's uh, happening as far as the headlines are concerned. We've got this cold soleti. It'll stick around through tomorrow into Tuesday and then start to fall apart a little bit. And that'll give us the May gray and cloudy, windy conditions. And then mostly cloudy into the first part of the work week. And we'll see that last until Wednesday. Uh, then a weak ridge of high pressure starts to build in and a warming trend starts by midweek. As we look towards downtown San Diego right now, we're at 61 degrees. Winds, they're south southeast at 10 miles per hour as the coastal eddy is bringing those winds up from the southeast. And we're seeing the onshore flow combined with that. So some very interesting weather conditions taking place in San Diego right now if you're new to the Southern California area. Otherwise, this is pretty typical for us to see this cloud cover in very chilly conditions. Talk about chilly. Look at the Northern Plains states. We're talking about 43 in Minneapolis right now. The Windy City, Chicago, 51 up into the Northeast, Boston, New York and Philadelphia, 55 or 59. The nation's capital, uh, 59 and as you come towards the west high pressure is now shifted over parts of the desert southwest so toasty there and along the coastline we're seeing a big cool down take place here's the reason they're so cool up over the northern plains this area of low pressure dragging all the cold air down out of canada and that's making for some chilly conditions and you can see the bite of southern california right here in the coastal eddy spinning up and yet another low pressure plowing into the pacific northwest that low We'll dig in over the Four Corners region and the Great Basin. High pressure starts to establish by Tuesday, and once we get into Wednesday and Thursday, it settles in over the west. And because of that, we'll see a warming trend start to take place. So coastal and inland will stay below average until we get to Wednesday. Then everyone jumps up from tomorrow's and Tuesday's temperatures by about 8 to 10 degrees. And then once we get into the rest of the week, we start to see that warming trend and sunnier conditions stick around. It'll be windy over the mountains and deserts over the next 24 hours, and then those winds will start to subside a little bit. Temperatures will also rebound in the mountains and deserts. And it's going to get downright hot out in the deserts, but this is when we start to see the big warm-ups take place over the desert southwest. Stephen Kirsten. All right.